Hey there, this is Red. It's time for a Red Reveals. So our Keyforge giveaways I've been trying to do every week or two weeks. This is one of those two week ones because last weekend was crazy busy. So we're at the two week mark. Um, Daniel won last week and he took, um, which one was it? Embers of Havanesque, I believe was the deck that he chose. So we've still got two sitting out there. One is the Deep Vaults of Vilevel and the other one is Morton's Sage Sooms Programmer. And I believe these were the ones that we opened up in episodes three and four. So I'll put little links up there to these two decks if you want to review them. Um, Sage Sooms Programmer was the Logos Shadows Sanctum one. And then we have the Deep Vaults, which are Logos Star Alliance and Shadows. All right. So we're going to move these out of the way, and we're going to get our deck that we'll open up this time. I think we're going to go with a Mass Mutation, because I don't believe we have one in the rotation. So that's this is what we'll open up, but before we do that, we need to figure out who's going to get this deck. So let's uh, bring up our little program here. So we've got... Uh, Five entries this time. We've got Jason, Cam, Stuart, Daniel, and Shadow Slayer. So let's create our table. We're going to go ahead and we're going to update it. So we got five folks in there. We're going to make sure all five folks are in there. We've got Shadow Slayer, Jason, Cam, Stuart, and Daniel. So that looks good. Make sure we've got everybody once. One, two, three, four, five. Looks good. All right. So next up is going to be. We're going to go random. We're going to get random one out of the list, and we're going to go five times is the plan. So we're going to start with one, two, three, four, and a winner is five. Jason is our winner this time around. All right. So now let's go ahead and close this up. Congrats, Jason. Let's figure out what your next option is. So you still have the Deep Vaults or Morton choice, but let's open this deck up and see what's in here. So I'm going to get out my handy tool, and we'll go at it from the side here, I think. There we go. All right. And we've got our pack of cards, and what are we pulling out of here? We're pulling out... How in the heck do you say that? Sheof? Well, it's got a weird, I'm not sure what the heck that symbol is there. Is that Sheofi? Or it's like an upside down Y, Spawn of Kletrip. I'm not sure, let me, let me, let me uh, open this up a little bit and figure out what we got here. So I'm gonna go off camera here while I take the plastic off and I'll put the main card in uh, little thing to cover up the the code so you can hear hopefully you can hear me like messing with plastic back here all right so there's that and all right so we've got some sanctum action we've got some shadows action and we've got some saurian action so we hit all the s's i think is the plan here all right now let's go ahead and i think we will where we want to start at. I think we'll go over to that zoom in camera and let's flip through and see what we got here. So that looks like an upside down Y. I'm not sure what that symbol is. It does not look like an FI. It looks like an upside down Y. Very interesting. I have no idea. All right, we'll see what's in here. So we've got, uh, oop, I'm gonna need to move them over to the right a little bit. Move it over, move it over. So we've got Bulwark as our first card. That's a common. Actually, here, I'm going to flip, because actually what I'm looking at is I've got a camera that sits right in a spot that makes that hard to read. Okay, so we've got Bulwark there, which has got Assault too, and it looks like it's got a little damage icon on there. Cool. Lieutenant Gorvnall. We should be in our commons right now. Two Lieutenant Gorvnalls, and they're both the... Oh, no, that one's got a, a capture on it. So we got some damage and some capture action going on. And that's, so that's going to be in addition to his uh, fight and capture, he's going to start with a capture. So that's kind of cool. 
All right, what else do we have here? We've got uh, a smite. We've got the gray rider. We have Baldric the Bold, so we're getting into our uncommons at this point. So there, if he fights the most powerful enemy, gain two. That's nice. And we've got Free Markets. Gain one for each house representing cards in play, except for Sanctum. Gorm of Om. So destroy it to destroy an artifact. Two of those in there. Interesting. A lot of uncommon cards in this deck. A Lyco Knight. So it looks like we're going to have a set of Lycos in this. So Skirmish. When you use this creature to fight, it dealt no damage in return. So there's probably, I'm going to guess there's Lyco Knight and other Knights in there. What else do we have here? We have another one. Oh, we have a second Lyco Knight. Two Lyco Knights. Now I haven't... I don't think I've seen that before, where the mutants like that are two from the same. I've seen them from different houses, but I don't think I've seen them where they're the same like that. That's interesting. We've got a Xeno Knight. So two Lyco Knights and a Xeno Knight. All right. So then we're going over to our Saurians. We've got a Chant of Ubris. Hubris. Console Primus. He's enhancing somebody else. A couple of those. Cornison Octavia. Still on the commons. Got to capture two there. Thero Centurion. See a lot of those. And another one. Curiosaurus. Each creature with an ember on it, gains, destroy, move one from this creature to the most powerful enemy creature. So that's an uncommon. A Saurian Egg. One of the Senators, after a creature reaps, exalt it. Stomp, which I love that card. So, oh, that one's going to give you an ember, and you're going to capture one, too. That's interesting. And we have a Crystal Surge, which I don't think I've seen before. Exalt each mutant creature. That's pretty cool, and it gives one. And then a Monument to Primus. Move one from a friendly creature to another friendly creature. If Console Primus is in your discard pile, move one from a creature to another creature instead. So there's a whole bunch of kind of the Saurian thing to capture stuff and move it around. All right, so then we're into shadows at that point in time. So we've got a Dark Wave, which is deal two to each non-mutant creature. And then in addition to that, it's dealing one right off the bat. So... You're going to get an Ember, you're going to deal one, and then you're going to deal two to each non-mutant. That's pretty awesome. Uh, oh, wow, there's two of them in there. So double your Dark Wave action. Wait a minute, i got to go back and look at the comment on that one. Significantly less tubular. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, we got Mug. Move one from a creature your, to your pool. Deal two to that creature. So that's going to be good in combo with your Saurians out there, right? You're going to move one over to one of the enemy creatures, potentially, and then you're going to steal it back and do two damage. That's nice. So you get Mutant Cut Purse, which is going to capture, and he's enhancing three. Opportunist. Still in our commons. Oh, we got Red Penny. Multiple red pennies. There we go. Two red pennies. We got the stealing going on. Subtle auto. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Boss Zarek. So we're into uncommons. I don't know if I've seen Boss Zarek before, so enhance 
putting three captures out there. Each friendly creature with a ember on it gains elusive. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Especially with all that Saurian action out there, you're going to, uh, most of your creatures will be elusive. That's kind of that's kind of nice. And moving it around, there's some nice synergy there. Uh, Miasma Bomb. So destroy Miasma Bomb, your opponent skips the Forge Key step during the next turn. And it's added to damage. All right, what do we have here? We've got Finch Cloak. Fight Reap. If you have less Ember than your opponent, steal one. Otherwise, each player gains one. All right, so he's an LC4. All right, what else we got? Last card. Techno Thief. Elusive. Reap, discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. That's pretty cool. I'm liking it. All right, so I have no idea how to pronounce this. Shio, uh, is that a different language? I don't know what that is. So what is that? Someone's gonna have to let me know what the heck that is. Cause that's not an F, that's not a FI, that's a upside down Y, or is that another language? I have no idea where that character comes from. So I'm gonna have to do some research or you and comments are going to have to let me know. All right, so that leaves us with, let's see what we got here. Hopefully we're covering it up. There we go. So we've got uh, the Techno Thief, the Finch Cloak, Monument to Primus, and a Crystal Surge. And then we got all those knights. There's a Xeno Knight, Lyco Knight, and two Lyco Knights. So we ended up with a lot of knights, which is pretty cool. Um, what was the other thing? There's, there's a decent number of enhancements in there. I saw a lot of things that look like your normal Saurian, like capture and move things around and things that enhance that from some of the other, the other sides is kind of cool. Plus there was, um, which one was it? It was the dark waves that do damage to non-mutants and there's a decent amount of mutants in there too. So that's also pretty cool. So, all right. So I believe you've got your choice at this point of you're going to have to let me know, post this out there, and you're going to have your choice of, she, I want to say she, we'll say Spawn of Kletrup <laughs> at this point, until I figure out how to pronounce that word. Then we have Deep Vaults of Vile Vale and Morton Sage Zooms Programmer. So those are going to be your choices. Let me know which one you want. I think whichever one we opened up in episode three, which I think is this one. Maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. I don't know. Whichever one we opened up in episode three has probably got another couple more episodes and then I'll rotate it out and we'll possibly open up two to, to see which one, like to give more choice because I don't want to just let the same one sit out there and then I'll take that deck, which is fine with me. So there we go. So um, I'll let you know in chat. I believe it was Jason was our winner. Yeah, Jason. So um, I'll let you know in chat. You're going to have to let me know which one you pick, and then we'll try to get it sent off to you as quick as possible. So that's it for now. I think if you end up taking the mass mutation one, I'll probably open up another mass mutation one. If you open up one, or if you decide to take one of the other two, I'll probably open up one of the older, more classic decks and throw that into the mix and try to keep a balance of different ones from different eras. So that way you've got a choice of whether you want to go old school or new school or, you know, figure out which way we want to go. So, all right, that's it for now. Um, I'll make sure to poke you in chat and then you send me an email following the rules and, oh, I need to think of what the thing is for the next giveaway, right? So um, let's go with, let's go with a color. We'll go with a color and we'll go with a, a house. So house and a color. So we could go like Sanctum blue or logos purple or shadows yellow, whichever, whichever you pick there. So right now your odds are pretty good. So we've gotten anywhere from two to five folks, I think at the most. So you're like in a 20% chance to win. That's, that's pretty good, I think. So, all right. So that's it for now. I'm going to wrap this up and hopefully we don't have a horrible busy weekend next weekend. I don't think so. And I'll be able to make another video next weekend. We'll do a giveaway next weekend. So. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.